Now, after discussing the method overriding, in this video we'll start with the abstraction by using the abstract class. As in the method overriding we saw, like when we create a virtual method in the base class, overriding that is not mandatory. But if you want to force the derive class to have a particular functionality for sure, you can make the base class and some of the feature as abstract. So that derive class has to define those features which is best for that particular class. All right. As the reusability of in the inheritance may decrease the functionality of the program. So this abstraction will make sure that the functionality or the outcome will not be defected because of the excess use of inheritance. So let's start abstraction and see how we can implement the concepts here. Okay, so let's continue with the previous example which we have discussed in method overriding. So here as we have discussed about abstract method or abstract class, like in every abstract class there should be something abstract, at least one abstract prep property or method. So let's consider this particular class where in the person I have defined a couple of properties which we have defined properly and a method. But nowhere around this pro program I am calling this particular method. Why? Because person is a base class and generally whenever you will observe a base class it is quite generalized and you cannot specify any specific operation out there like here also. So whenever I am trying to call any method the derived class methods are giving me a much clear information about that. So basically it is no use defining it here and there may be one drawback here like since it is optional to override a virtual method if a programmer skips the overriding of a particular method then you may get some inappropriate functionality. So in order to make it abstract, in order to force the derived classes to de define this particular method, what I will do? I will say it is an abstract method and I will remove its definition and will terminate it with the semicolon. But only an abstract class can handle abstract method, so I will have to make this class as well as abstract. Now, this is something like it is telling you what to do but not how to do as I discussed like this person class is getting derived from to any student class or employee class as you can see but they must define this work method now because abstract method must be overridden but what should you do you can define anything inside just what to do just follow this particular signature this return type this method and the argument if any so every derived class must override this abstract method and if you will not do that these classes will also become abstract and as I said earlier abstract classes cannot be instantiated means you cannot start the execution of the program unless everything is got completed so this is about the abstraction which you can do by abstract class there will be no change in the output and in the execution of this program as rest of all the things are similar.